Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. I bet you want to know how I did this, right? By the way, I used the gradient angle tool to create this. So without much ado, let's get started with this Photoshop tutorial. So the first thing we are going to do is to set our background and we are going to use the gradient. So go under your adjustment and go and choose gradient double click on your gradient and we want to go under our purple and we are going to go ahead to choose a two-tone like that and we want to set one end to white so click on your color stop click on the color and go ahead and choose a white and click ok now we want to change the style to radial and we want to click on the reverse so under your scale click on reverse and we are ready to click OK. So with this set, we want to go ahead and begin to create our gradient shape. So you want to go under your shapes, click on your shape and pick your eclipse. Now you want to go and hold down shift and go ahead and draw a rectangle like that. Now you need to come in your fill color and we want to make sure that we choose the gradient fill now we want a two-tone so we are going to click on this one to create a two-tone we want to change this from a linear to an angle so we have something like this i'm gonna go ahead to scale this down so you notice that we just have this one shape that we've created so we are going to go ahead to make a duplicate. So you want to hold down Command J to make a duplicate. And we're going to move that up like that. Now we want to set the two together and basically merge it. So we are going to click on the top one and we are going to change the direction of the angle. Go under your property and click on your gradient. And you see the angle on the bottom click to set it to the way you want it and we are going to try a 45 and you notice that it falls directly on the edge of the top circle so now that we have this we need to go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom so i'm going to click on that image click on my appearance go to my angle and then rotate that play with it a little to see where it lands and it looks like we got it so the first one is at 135 so we're going to click on this one and we are going to click on our fill this stop all the way to the end because you see what it creates so we're going to leave it somewhere midpoint so that we get a very good smooth transition now i'm going to click on the blue and we are going to choose a lighter purple for that so i'm going to choose somewhere like this Ooh, i like it and i'm going to go ahead to click ok now i'm going to take this back a little so we have a very nice gradual faded effect now i'm going to go ahead and click on that to close it and i'm going to go on the bottom one click on my gradient fill and i'm going to go ahead and move my slider a little to the opposite so that we get this blue blending in and going into the other one like that so with these two all set we can go back to this one and then maybe move it back a little so we don't have the purple blending in with the white so you see it's a very gradual effect now i can go back again and play with it a little bit more so we get a very good gradual blend select the other one we're going to make a copy just in case we need the original so command j make a copy now we so with this two layers selected, we're going to right click and we are going to convert it into a shape. So now we have one single image. Now, obviously the two on the bottom, we need to turn it off. Now, this is what we have. This is very cool. So if you want to add a drop shadow effect, 
you can double click on it basically add a drop shadow something very light now if you want to increase the shadow you can click on it and increase the opacity if you want this is a very interesting and unique way of using the gradient angle and i just couldn't wait to share this little tip with you all so i hope you enjoy this please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next tutorial